I'm just never going to be able to get my intro in today, am I? Okay, I'll probably just record anyway then. Um, welcome to the Catacombs of Carthus. I'm trying a different recording style today, as you can maybe see. Uh, higher frame rate and uh, automatic changing of the HUD so that it goes away when I don't need it. Also this area is um, interesting in that you have to kill the boss skeleton or else you won't be able to permanently kill the skeletons that are nearby. Those guys don't have bosses, but the lesser ones do. You can tell if you've killed the boss or if they're affected by one or not by their eyes. If their eyes aren't glowing white, and also if you get souls from them, then they don't have a boss skeleton keeping them alive. See, like this one over here, I think since I knocked his boss down, he's going to be able to die now. That was pretty close. Okay. Let's continue. I have an arrow on my back. Oops. Um, typically the Typically the boss skeletons um, are wearing things like hats. These guys actually have a rare chance to drop their sword and it's it's a pretty decent curved greatsword. It's probably not the best in the world but it's pretty good. Also, I find that you actually get enough souls just from bosses to actually level high enough. That's a pyromancy tome that's important. To level up high enough to basically be able to finish the game. As long as you know how to allocate your points. So all these... Oh! I guess I didn't really need those souls in that ember. I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the shortcut. Because this way I can get to the bonfire faster. And since these guys more often than not can't actually be killed. I'm just going to go ahead and skip most of them. Although I would suggest you sit down if you're not doing so already. And prepare yourself for uh, an interesting little debacle. You see, I've got a bunch of friends that would like to meet you. This is the skeleton boss of that uh, skeleton ball. If you kill him, it breaks. I believe it drops a bone shard. Yeah. Now these guys can be killed. Alternatively, you could kill them anyway. Actually, no, these ones can't be killed. How bizarre. Oh me, oh my. There must be a different boss further in. Is 
This area also has a whole bunch of moderately useless junk with a slew of okay items mixed in. This area is highly trapped. And if you roll on any of the traps, you will receive lots of damage. I see this button on the ground here is a trap. You can actually use this defensively because you can press it and get out of the way. It's pretty good for invaders, which I don't really have to worry about right now because I died. This item is a trap because it leads you into getting attacked by three of these skeleton guys. Let's move on. There are rats down here and wheel skeletons, which you can grind the wheel skeletons for a great shield. There is an item down here, if I recall correctly. You also would get invaded down here by Night Slayer Sorig. If you were alive! He's the guy who uses the Fume Knight sword. I'm going the entirely wrong way. I want to go this way, up the stairs. And now we found ourselves a bonfire. While I'm here, I'll rest. Might as well. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the two opposing paths as I run up this way. Or not. Stop it. These guys actually do rarely drop their weapon. It is a Shotel, which does damage despite a person having a shield up. And it, this one also inflicts bleed damage. So it's a good thing to get. But I'm not going to get it right now. I think this is a heavy stone. But I'm probably wrong. And it ran out of the world. It's a fire gem. <laughs> Try not to roll off the edge here, that's the primary concern. Most of these items are pretty useless as well. You can usually gauge an item's worth by the size of the cloud it puts up. And if I grab these items, oh, a lot of skeletons are going to spawn. Must be crazy, eh? Absolutely useless.
is where the, plat the path diverges. And for the sake of showing it off, and also the possibility of a bonfire, I'll go this way first. The problem is there's no way to get back up there from this bonfire. Also there's a demon. If you want to see the approved stratagem to fighting it, that's a mimic. Mimic usually does way more damage than that. The skeleton, however, will also fight it. And the skeleton has a boss skeleton nearby. So if you really want to, you can just lame it out and let the skeleton fight it. Or not. I've also gotten a glitch to occur over here. Or if he attacks in the right pattern, he'll clip out of world. Which probably won't happen this time for some reason. As you can see, you can uh, just look straight through to the Urethil Valley from here. Oh, I'll be honest, a large percentage of the reason why I'm not going to actually fight it this time is because I no longer have the Mimic to help me, and the Mimic is actually quite helpful this early on, and I really don't want to spend the time possibly dying a second time, and there is a bonfire literally 20 feet away. Hey look, a bonfire. I want to be able to do the skinning, the spinning skeleton attack. That's a pretty good attack. I can't rest at the bonfire because they're still alive. Might as well grab this then. Raise the skeleton! Ah. I don't think I'm gonna fight him right now. I think I'm going to show off the boss. To note, the bridge can actually be crossed from the other side regardless of it being down using that land bridge.
is to make it so even if invaders chop down your bridge, you can still fight them. Let's show off the next boss, shall we? The first time I fought him, I thought he was a Lord of Cinder. Yeah? Okay. Cloud does damage. Substantial damage. These are not my drink. That has two missed opportunities to attack so far. It's the worst dodge ever. You want to take out his right hand first, because it is the more dangerous hand to fight against. His left hand is always further from his body, and his body is where the poison comes from. And he sometimes drags you into his chest with his right hand. Get up, get up, get up, get up! <sighs> there we go. Nimble dog. Oh. Oh, Lord. This boss was never this hard before. Poison also kills his skeletons, so you can use them to gauge where it is and how far it's actually gone. This is an AoE. It's a little bit hard to see. A little bit.
Sorry about the lack of commentary and trying to focus. Alright, hardest part is already done. Now I just have to not get poisoned to death. Why aren't you broken? Break! 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 Why won't you break? Why won't you break? Break, break, break. There we go. And that's High Lord Walnir. And this unlocks my favorite area of the game. Alright, I'm gonna call this an episode. I think we've been mighty productive. And I shall see you in the next episode.